Good day and welcome to SEO Bricks Insight, where we look at what's really going on in the world of the bricks. Now, over the last few months, I made a number of videos about the Russian agricultural sector and how the Russian government recognises that the agricultural sector is one of the, for the country, is of strategic importance, first and foremost as part of its programme that ensures that Russia is self-sufficient in food production and also now that it's a major exporter. Now, over the last 10 years, there have been a number of initiatives that government have put forward to support the development of the sector, and the latest one is called the Smart Bread Programme. Now, the Smart Bread Programme aims to enhance the digitisation in the agro-industrial sector. Now, the initiative was developed by the Industry Association, Inter Agrotech, with the backing of United Russia, as part of the programme, farmers and employees of Agro Holdings will receive training in the use of robotics, artificial intelligence and other technologies to be used in agriculture. Now, according to the developers, this will help address the challenges impeding the development of the industry in Russia. So let's have a look at what Russian farmers will receive and its potential impact on the agro-industrial sector. Now, Russian farmers are going to be trained in the use of the technology. The programme is designed to accelerate Russia's attainment of technological leadership in the agricultural industry and lead to an increase in the level of digitisation all across the agricultural sector. Now, as part of the training programme, farmers will attend several face-to-face -face classes during which they'll be informed and educated about the use of the existing technologies in agrotech and the prospects for the development of further uh, technologies across the industry. The seminars are going to be held at the regional ministries of agriculture for farmers, specialists in the field of digital development of agricultural holdings, engineers, farm managers and students of specialised departments of agriculture at various universities. Now, as outlined by the project's initiative, the deputy head of United Russia, Sergei Morozov, the program will encompass a significant number of highly qualified participants from a wide, diverse range of backgrounds. I mean, it's bringing together a diverse range of stakeholders, including the public plus non-profit organisation, representatives from the educational sector, federal and regional executive authorities, as well as the active farmers and uh, agricultural specialists themselves. Now, before I continue, I'd like to make an appeal. If you like and enjoy my videos, you can help me fund the channel and my website, scobricksinsight.com, and help me further develop it. You can do it by making a small donation, which you can do by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the video screen. Now, everybody who donates does get a personal thank you direct from me. Now, Mr. Morozov notes that the programme was developed in accordance with the President uh, Vladimir Putin's directive to position Russia uh, among the leading countries in terms of robotic density and intelligence, artificial intelligence, across the world by 2030. So the seminars will feature representatives from government and industry, as well as analysts and experts in the fields of digital solutions. Now, Based on the outcome of these educational events and the online information resources, uh, new programs will then be, be implemented by January 2025. These will comprise an accumulated knowledge base on the topics of modern precision farming technologies, digital solutions, AI technologies and robotics in the agro-industrial sector. The programme is going to be implemented in the main 12 agricultural regions of the country, which is Rostov, Stavropol, Lepetsk, Voronezh, Samara, Volgograd, Saratov, Orenburg, Belgograd regions, as well as Krasnodar, Stavropol and Altai Krai. Now, according to Ivan Petrov, who's managing part of the Analytical Centre for Forestry and Agricultural Sectors, uh, part of the ITFB group, agriculture provides an ideal testing ground for applying various new innovations. Many agricultural technologies have been available on the market for several years. I mean, drones have been successfully utilised in the agro-industrial complex for a, a number of years. And these technologies are used for monitoring and treating fields for pests, applying fertilisers and uh, irrigation. 
mean, remote sensing technologies have demonstrated their effectiveness in agricultural planning and monitoring. I mean, the use of artificial intelligence enables the actual contour of a field, the crops growing in it, and all problem areas to be easily determined. Now, what are the problems in the domestic agro-industrial sector? And is this program designed to solve them? Well, prior to developing the educational program for farmers, Interagro Tech conducted a comprehensive analysis of the challenges facing the Russian agro-industrial complex. I mean, this enabled the identification of key factors that are impeding the effective development of the industry. Now, these include a lack of qualified personnel. Yeah, uh, not too many are familiar with AI. Lack of an agricultural industry professionals uh, and the low load on equipment. I mean, often there's less than one employee per unit of equipment. Now, against the drop of decline in the rural population, a shortage of professionals and a lack of desire among young people to go into the agro-industrial sector. So robotization and digitization of the agricultural sector will become a very effective solution, according to Natalia Filipova, who's a director at the Interagrotech. Mr. Morozov also stated that the ed educational events are scheduled to be held in 12 agricultural regions by October 2024 and expands to 62 regions by 2026. He said, we endeavour to demonstrate to farmers the tangible benefits of utilising cutting-edge robotics and artificial intelligence technology. I mean, this represents a fundamentally different level of management in rural areas. And Russia has a strong track record in this field. I mean, these developments have proved their worth not only in the domestic market, but in competitive global markets, the speaker said. Now, now according to Maria Gordenko, she's Deputy Director of IT at the industrial engineering plant uh, company, Pommash, the digitization of the agro-industrial sector is becoming increasingly active. I mean, the results in 2023 showed that 20.6% 20 of organisations in the agro-industrial and fisheries complex are already utilising artificial intelligence solutions, with a further 20% planning to implement them. Furthermore, only 5.3% of these organisations lack the necessary funding for AI development activities. However, the current level of robotization of the Russian uh, agro-industrial complex is still relatively low, according to The Economist uh, and Dmitry Semenov. He said, the majority of uh, agricultural producers, such technologies are currently an expensive pleasure and innovations are not readily available to all. I mean, the current inflationary environment and the high cost of borrowing for farmers are acting as a deterrent for the uptake of robotics. So the government's looking to um, put in uh, grants that will al allow that to, to develop. Semenov also notes that ro robotization will increase the productivity of farmers. I mean, the Russian agro-industrial complex has significant potential for growth. I mean, if you look at uh, what's really going on through with the likes of the Progress Agro Group of companies, uh, it's that Russia's now a similar level to that of Brazil and India, and it's not particularly inferior to the West in its use of technology. However, the need for more efficient use of natural resources is going to drive the better development. I mean, the main challenge is facing agriculture is an increase in the demand uh, for food while reducing the amount of arable land used to produce it. So it's important to increase the efficiency uh, of the land that's being used. And the best way to do that is by applying robotics and artificial intelligence solutions. I mean, according to uh, Peter Sherbanko, who's a professor at the Russian Financial University, an increasing number of agricultural uh, enterprises are implementing monitoring systems, automatic processes, utilising sensors, drones and other innovative solutions just to try to improve their production efficiency. I mean, this is due to a combination of uh, factors and the growing uh, threat of uh, a lack of you know, population to work on the uh, on farms. I mean, the Russian government does plan to invest over 30 billion rubles in the transformation of the agriculture and fishery sectors with digitization and robotization, and that's about 350 million. So it's worth uh, something. 
I mean, let's not forget that the global population is going and it's going to have to be fed. According to UN estimates, the population is going to reach 9.8 billion by 2050. And that global food production is going to have to grow by at least 70% to meet the needs. And that means significant modernization and efficiency of the agricultural sector. I mean, according to Dmitry Vladimirov, who's the Director of Product Technologies uh, at BIA, the importance of developing the agricultural at both a macro and local level with government support programs is playing a crucial role. I mean, to further develop the agro and cultural uh, and complex, it's necessary to increase the penetration of agricultural technology in the smaller and the medium-sized businesses and establish domestic production into the related sectors of that economy. I mean, they need to develop a regulatory framework for monitoring the results of these economic processes in the industry and provide more levels of state support. I mean, According to Ivan Petrov, the only situation, so, solution to overcome in the current situation is complete digitization. I mean, given the fact that um, Russia is suffering from acute lack of labor resources, I mean, the unemployment is at its lowest level ever in Russia. I mean, so all the major agricultural enterprises are using software solutions with the object of reducing your costs, but also uh, taking the place of manpower. I mean, Obviously, this hasn't got all the way down to the smaller and medium businesses uh, because of the lack of personnel, but they are trying to solve that through digitization. Now, the automation of the transport process is now a reality, with new solutions being available for tractors, combine harvesters, and indeed aircraft. I mean, each unit of agricultural uh, transport can now be unmanned and controlled uh, from a distance. Furthermore, Digitization reduces the production cost and that enhances the competitiveness of the uh, agricultural product in both the domestic and uh, foreign markets. Also, the integration of artificial intelligence technology and unmanned vehicles will enhance the volume of information available and eliminating the human factor and uh, any problems that that may occur. So yet again, Russia's at the forefront of agricultural development. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you can help me fund the channel and the website SEO Bricks Insight by clicking on the thanks button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you and I hope you've all enjoyed this. Thank you. Goodbye.